Everyone with diabetes will sometimes wonder what a normal blood glucose range is in people without diabetes. If that's your question, this is the right video for you. Let's start with what you will know. If you have diabetes, you will know what your specific target range is. If you do not, you really should ask your medical team as soon as possible. For adults with diabetes, the standard recommended target range is between 70 and 180 milligrams per deciliter, that is between 3.9 and 10 millimoles per liter. Of course, there are two different scales for blood glucose and which one you use will depend on the country where you live. In this video, I will mention both scales. The 70 to 180 range or 3.9 to 10 range is not the normal range in people without diabetes. So what is the normal range? That is an interesting question, I think. And there is uh, actually a nice medical study published in 2010 in a leading medical journal that used continuous glucose monitors, so CGMs, the glucose sensors, uh, in 74 people without diabetes. It was found that 90% of the time, these people without diabetes had values between 70 and 120 milligrams per deciliter or between 3.9 and 6.7 millimoles per liter. Values below 60 or below 3.3 .3 millimoles per liter and values above 140 or 7.8 were very rare. This seems that in this specific study, the normal glucose range is somewhere between 70 and 120 milligrams per deciliter or between 3.9 and 6.7. And sometimes values between 60 and 70, so that's between 3.3 .3 and 3.9 on the low side, and between 120 and 140 on the high side, that's between 6.9 and 7.8, occurred as well. And that answers part of the question, but there is of course more to say about this. First, this uh, specific study shows that the low target of the recommended range for people with diabetes, so 70 or 3.9, reflects what you see in people without diabetes. But then you might wonder, so what about this 60 to 70 range, this 3.3 to 3.9 range that was sometimes observed as well? Actually though, these values were relatively rare. That said, there was a recent study in uh, the British Medical Journal stating that the low end of the normal range is 60 or 3.3 millimole per liter. So that is such relatively low values between 60 and 70 do actually occur in some people without diabetes. At the same time, the CGM study that I just mentioned with 74 people without diabetes shows that such values are quite rare and uh, they occur around 1% of the time. Now, uh, that however is um, a little bit, you know, it's, it's, you cannot say that that precise because uh, there are various issues that might explain why, for example, for certain people as was observed more often than for other people. And then what about the 120 to 140 range that was observed? So that's the 6.9 to 7.8 range. Now such values between 120 and 140 occurred between 4% and 9% of the time depending on the age group. Also, you should know that in medicine, blood glucose values over 140 milligrams per deciliter or over 7.8 after eating are seen as a possible indication of diabetes, prediabetes or impaired glucose tolerance. Thus there, at the high end, the answer is quite simple. 140 is the high end of the normal range. Values over 140 or over 7.8 were actually rarely observed in the CGM study that I just mentioned. Now, 
you may wonder why the recommended range for people with diabetes is not more clearly set to 70 to 140 or 3.9 to 7.8 instead of the 70 to 180 or 3.9 to 10. As I mentioned in my other video about time and range, people can try to go for this so-called tight range, that's 70 to 140 or 3.9 to 7.8, if they can safely do so without massively increasing the risk of hypoglycemia. That is, however, not necessarily that easy. What do you think? Have you ever tried to stay in a tight range? Did you find it difficult? How long did you manage to stay in this range for? Maybe a couple of hours or maybe a whole day? I must admit personally that I do not find it that easy to stay uh, in the tight range for prolonged periods of time, even though I personally try to do so. Finally, I just want to say that before you try to do any of this at home, don't forget to talk to your medical team first. This channel does not give medical advice, but just tries to explain interesting facts about blood glucose management. And of course, all mentioned medical research mentioned in this video is linked below the video. If you like this type of video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you will hear about future videos on this channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon again.